Hi everyone, Alex here, and I'm back at Hollyford Woods for another walk around the ancient woodland. I've been walking around this woodland throughout 2022 on a monthly basis, keeping track of how the wood and its inhabitants change with the seasons. Now, if you're not already a subscriber to my channel, please do subscribe to see my future content. But for now, let's go for a walk in the woods. Since I was last here, we've had some more rain, though the paths are still very dry. As I came down the path from the road, there were rooks all over the field, Bryony in the hedgerows, lots of rose hips, honeysuckle berries and more blackberries too. Right here we can see that the ash trees have started to form keys and they're drying out. These ash keys are the seed pods of this tree and they're great to look out for at this time of year. We've got quite a breeze today but it's warm. We can see that the elderberries here have finished and the tree has started to take on its autumn colour. Elder is quite often one of the first trees to really turn towards the autumn. And many of these berries have already been eaten by the birds that enjoy them, particularly the blackbirds. Do you remember the tall spires of Rose Bay Willow Herb in the July video? That's all that's left of them now. The seed pods have opened up to make these fluffy little seeds and let them out into the wind. And now we've got these towering structures they're quite interesting to look at and they'll remain here through the winter months. Even though we're heading into autumn, it's still early days and there's butterflies to be seen in the trees. This comma butterfly is resting up in this birch. And look, we can already see the catkins for next spring. The catkins start to form at the beginning of the autumn on the hazel and the birch trees. And they'll continue to be in place for most of the winter, developing and then opening up again in the spring as we saw earlier in the year. A little bit cooler and damper as we descend into the wood now. And the edges of the paths are all spent seed pods, late nettles, just the end of the summer plants. The leaves are changing colour and some of them are starting to fall. Being taken by this wind, brought down from the trees and blown along the paths. as a real feel of autumn coming. These ferns here, they're already starting to droop. And you can see underneath the heaviness of their new spores. The bracken is dying back and most of the ferns are entering the end of their life cycle. It's really quite humid in the wood now. And there's the rustling of squirrels from side to side. Sound of birds, they're starting to sing a bit more again now. Woods aren't as quiet as they were last month. There's a lovely glow from the sun. It casts its glow down into the valley here. The holly berries are starting to form, preparing for all our festive foliage. But they're just about starting to go a little bit blush pink now. They're not quite the bright red of Yuletide. We've got a little way to go yet, thankfully. I really hope you've been enjoying this walk through the woods so far. Please like the video if you enjoy it. Next month we're going to be hunting for fungi in the woods. Have you seen any yet? What are the first signs of autumn where you are? Or perhaps the first signs of spring if you're in the southern hemisphere? If you've enjoyed seeing all the close-up footage from my super zoom camera, did you know you can find more of that on Patreon, including photographs that you can use for creation of artwork, even if the artwork's for sale? You can go and find my Patreon, it's all linked in the description below, so if you're interested be sure to check that out. A lot of the bracken on these higher slopes is really starting to die. Everything's sort of in this stage of beginning to decay. It's the very first stages, but we'll be seeing a lot more of that as we go through to autumn. The rooks are being particularly loud up today, up in this tree. There's a lot of activity of rooks right now. They're gathering, calling to each other, feeding in the fields. It's the end of their breeding season now.
and as well as all of the decay there's also the first signs of some new life too. There's few winter growing plants like goose grass and some of the speedwells will start to germinate at this time of year. It'll be interesting to keep an eye on these ones here and see what they grow into. We've got lots of young foxgloves where the seeds have fallen. So although autumn can sometimes feel like a sad time when things are decaying and dying away, there's always new life to be found too, if you know where to look. I've mostly been writing in my journal recently. Just a few little notes and observations on what I've been seeing as I've walked through the woods. Everything's still all in leaf here. The skyline hasn't changed appreciably since I last filmed in August. But I think the light has changed a bit. Just a more kind of diffuse light, a lower angle. And the sound that the wind makes as it blows through the trees, that's changed too. Thank you so much for joining me for this walk through the woodlands. I hope you've enjoyed what September has brought us. I'll be back here in October for another walk, hopefully looking for some fungi at the same time. In the meantime, I'm going to be continuing my nature journal in the studio, catching up with August and September. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.